it was April Fools. And the radio show open has, I knew that would be featured throughout our radio show <laughs> open today, that I looked down at my call box here, because on my computer here, I'm able to see who's dialing in at 844-204-RICH. And we do have a couple of phone lines open right now if you care to call. Love to hear from you. Um, so I look down and I see, because we talked to Rob Manfred, or the, the big pastime, as we're trying to nickname him, <laughs> because of the fact that, again, uh, Bud Selig, Faye Vincent, Bart Giamatti, the last commissioner that didn't have a nickname, Petey Urboth, although I think his friends did call him Ubes, probably one day. But uh, so the big pastime called in and essentially just talked about Pete Rose and how he, he's going to take this under advisement and the Cincinnati All-Star game, the fact that it's in Cincinnati does not have any bearing on his time frame, blah, blah, blah. I look down at, the sh at my call uh, device here and I see Morgan from Los Angeles wants to talk Pete Rose. Perfect opportunity. Had no idea the two of you jamokes over there at the Chris <laughs> Command Center were probably doing cartwheels inside that I called upon the guy that you had through Ted. What was the name of our, of our Ted's friend? Uh, Josh Robert Thompson. Okay. Calling in as Morgan Freeman yep. on April Fool's Day. And I knew better than to believe it. <laughs> so I tried to test the knowledge of the caller who was saying that they were Morgan Freeman. And if you missed it, here's, here's a, sort of a greatest hits. And the best part about it, if you are watching on TV, the two of you guys didn't flinch at all when I called on Morgan from Los Angeles. So oh. good on you. Yeah. But deep down inside, you were like, yes. Rich, I'm a trained theater actor. <laughs> <laughs> who says you're trained? You? Yes. Is there a certificate? <laughs> I can print one out. Your mom is making one up. Yes, for me. she probably is. Yes. <laughs> Watching on her connected mobile device up in uh, Northern California. So at any rate, here, here, here's the greatest hits of, of what went down yesterday. Morgan in Los Angeles, California, here on the Rich Eisen Show. Morgan? Yes, Rich. How are you? It's Morgan Friedman. <laughs> How are you, Morgan? Well, I'm good. You know, I just, I love your show. I'm a huge fan of yours, if you are really Thank who you. you say you are. And in that regard, uh, what, what children's yeah. show were you part of back in the 70s? Well, now, of course, the electric company uh, was something I did very early in my career. And um, I often played uh, Dracula on that show. I'm a big fan of your show. And I, I got to say something also. It's um, very hard for Morgan Freeman to get in on this show. I mean, you say Morgan Freeman is calling. You can't get in. You can't get in. The phone lines are lit up. It's crazy. Well, listen. How can, how can I not get in on the show? It's crazy to me. Was that really Morgan Freeman? I can't think of anything else right now. It was not For Morgan real. Freeman. It was a, it was a well-concocted, not so well-concocted. I don't understand. We, we have, what do you mean? It was very well-concocted. It was very well-concocted. We were the whole time. Well, who was it? Who called in? Josh Babe. Robert Thompson does a fantastic oh, Morgan Freeman impersonation. I remembered that Ted dropped this little bit of knowledge a there long is. time ago. Uh -huh. And so I said, what if we have Ted's buddy pretend to be Morgan Freeman? Because we were, we were going to take Jim Harbaugh <laughs> interviews and dice them up and make you think Jim was calling in. But right, that right, took a right. lot of work and effort. Right. Well done. Well done. Of course, they didn't tell me. <laughs> That's okay, Mike. They knew. Yeah, because they, you would have blabbed. Yeah, I had a big mouth and told <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> you no. don't have a poker face. <laughs> no, not at, at all. all. Not at all. That's why you wear free stuff, because you probably play poker. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, went, we, went, we went through a couple iterations on how to execute. We were thinking, do we tell you Morgan Freeman is booked as a guest? Is that too obvious? No, you nailed mean? it. But my only, here, here's why it worked, okay, is because... I might not have chosen Morgan from Los Angeles. Right. There were, our phone lines were lit up with a lot of people calling in about the other subject that I talked about with the commissioner yesterday. I talked about with Ron Darling in the first hour, you know, about the Tommy John surgery epidemic. With Ron said it's a good word to use, so I will use it, even though the commissioner would probably think differently. You had no idea I was going to actually. What would have happened if I didn't choose Morgan from Los Angeles? Would you kept getting in my ear saying, "There's Morgan, there's Morgan, there's Morgan," well, even though you knew that might be tipping your hand a little if bit? If you recall, we had we had three good calls on about baseball. Yes, we did. And, and I I mentioned two of them, and Morgan was one of them. And I then said to you also, we're, we're playing that Pete Rose sound. And it was kind of leading you to water a little bit there, no, but no. not sure if you're going to take it. So you know. you've now called me a horse and a fish in this segment. <laughs> no, I was look. the fish that you reeled in, and now I'm the horse that I'm leading led to. No, I understand what you're saying. But so 
And, and, and there was a couple times where he got a little loose. He did. When he referred to himself in the third in person. In the third person. A couple of times. But Morgan Freeman is a guy. there was also a time where he talked about how Pete Rose, that Pete Rose <laughs> betting on baseball isn't that big of a deal because baseball is the worst tough worst sport to bet on <laughs> right. and he would rather bet on something about midgets and fishing or whatever. Yeah, yeah, whatever and that's when I thought if you if if you go to richeisenshow.com we have the whole video of the whole phone call that's up there you'll see that I, I began thinking okay it's not really him right but then you tried to test him and well, he nailed was, it. That was post, actually, the, that whole him getting loose was after I tested post -test. him. post-test. Yeah. Okay. But he did nail the electric company right off the top of his head. And I guess we didn't know how much you knew about Morgan Freeman. <laughs> right. And the fact that you had that there, it was almost you wanted to believe it. Of and course that's I the do. Power of you don't belief. think of I course, want yeah. Morgan Freeman driving around Southern California, listening to this show on our, on our affiliate, Absolutely. 8.30, the AM Angels radio station, right, home of Angels baseball. Of course I want Morgan Freeman listening to the show and calling in. He's in Italy, actually. We didn't find <laughs> right. out that he's in Italy right now. So maybe he's watching on NFL right, Now, which you can streaming. watch this show internationally. So if you're out there, Morgan, uh, in Italy, ciao. <laughs> the Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience.